aka Miss WC Reader and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So what does this book, this book, and this book have in common? If you answered cancelled contracts and lack of publisher support, you'd be on the money. So I wanted to talk about this today after seeing Shakir Sean, he is the author of this book right here, Never Read. He made a post today on Twitter talking about how his series was canceled. It has not even been a full year since this book has been out. And most people don't know this book exists. I myself did not know this book existed until literally a couple weeks before publication. And I reached out to the publisher and I'm like, can you send me a copy? Because I really want to read and review this book and talk about it on my platform as I often do with many other books but like usually when I'm sending those emails to the publisher I used to be doing it months in advance nowadays it's happening a lot like more closer to release date or even just directly after release date because publishers are dropping the ball and not promoting black stories especially this past two years I'd say after all those promises that we got back in 2020 of doing better for by black authors I mean we all knew it was BS when we saw it and like all the black square stuff like a lot of people were giving lip service but it took them a year maybe to just completely just start dropping the ball and not even trying like between 2020 and 2021 they picked up a lot of new books and a lot of people who've been waiting in the wings for their chance they got their book finally they got a deal for it but we saw them promote certain stories and then they're still to this day only promoting those authors that they promoted during that time while since then they've signed new black authors and like their books come out to radio silence and it doesn't matter where the author is from because some of these authors are from outside the u.s navigating publishing in the u.s or whether they are authors based within the u.s like this one right here we all heard bethany detail all the trouble she was having during the during the time of releasing the poisons we drink we heard her story i did a youtube video on it myself you can search that up if you're not familiar with it she constantly had to fight her publisher on things fight for authenticity it, um, to remain within the pages she had to fight for them to send arcs to black readers she had to fight for them when it came to all those weird printing issues they were having and then they tried to put her book out on the same day that blood of the root was coming out and that felt so unfair and i'm glad that she did push for them to move that because we shouldn't be having to pit black authors against each other in that way and have and have like a, a one release come out on the day as another big buzzy release that could potentially overshadow it. There are enough days in the year so that we can spread out black books for publishing because black authors aren't getting published every single Tuesday. And they move white releases all the time to better fit certain months like lately February has been prime time and this, it happened to this one, it's happened to other ones where I'm seeing black books by black American authors get pushed from Black History Month to make way for just like whatever generic white romance, romantic fantasy they have that they want to push during that time. And it's like, you know this is prime time where eyes are going to be on black stories. Why would you push the black authors who already struggle for the white authors who already have a leg up and don't necessarily need that February release? Um, in the case of Never Eighth, this was literally dropped on the same day as Sign of the Slayer, which they underpromoted Sign of the Slayer too. Like, don't get me wrong. I I also enjoy, read and enjoyed that book and had to, like, talk to the author to get an arc for that one because they were playing games over her publisher. But when it came to Sign of the Slayer, at the very least, they gave it, like, a blog tour and stuff. So they had, um, well, I think they gave it a couple of blog tours. So they had different people talking about the book, which... Blog tours can also be hit and miss like some of those I don't think those cover reveal ones are necessary I find that they do those cover reveal ones sometimes they'll sponsor them to pay the 
person to drop the cover and then they never talk about the book again after even though they're supposed to be reading it later on they talk about I'm so excited and then you never see it again but like with sign of the slayer and never wait dropping the same day they also the only reason why I knew about never wait was because they had them do an event together at a BNN otherwise I would have never heard of this book and I said I don't even think sign of the slayer got enough love just because they didn't really put it out there too much and I still don't feel like they put it out there enough. Then we have this one right here, The Seven Vultures. So I haven't talked to Rose in a long time but I have talked to her many times in the past and she, I was talking to her during her publication journey because I had beta read something else for her, not this book. But she was just having a tough time and she's not somebody who is used to like putting herself out there and promoting her work which is a hard skill to learn. I have somewhat of a business background and I've also worked with in customer service where I had to talk to people all day long over and over again. So between doing that and then doing YouTube that's really helped me be able to speak out more but a lot of people don't have those skills and you would think with a traditional publisher they would help them get those tools so that they could speak out about their book. What I'm learning a lot in the past and noticing in the past year is that a lot of authors do not even know how to tell you about their book. We're seeing a lot of people just drop those arrow picks which are a mix of like tropes and just like random shit like shitty plot points that happen in the book or like random facts about their character and going on their way and I think that's all the promotion they need. I'm like no we want to know more about your book especially if it's a non-romance book and especially if it is a black book because i find for the most part just dropping those tropes is not enough to get most people to, most people to pick up black books they need a little bit more and again that's tools that the publisher should be helping with instead a lot of the publishers are like well just drop a trope video just drop an arrow pick no we need to come up with different promotional strategies and stop copying the same ones over and over again that are obviously not effective so then, like I mentioned, canceled contracts. Bethany's publisher reached out to her and said, you know, I understand we dropped the ball, things haven't been going right. Well, no, I don't think they actually said we dropped the ball. I think they just said, like, things haven't been going right. Would you like to get an out of your contract? And, of course, they put her through hell, so she's going to say yes and, and get out the contract. Well, she had a white agent at the time who was, like, really upset because they wanted to um, remain in good standing with that publisher so they dropped her. So now the onus is her fault like that all this shit went down with her publisher and her agent couldn't even advocate for her and your agent is supposed to be your advocate. Like I know people are like well your agent isn't your friend. Your agent doesn't have to be your friend to be your advocate. They should be your advocate. Like, they're supposed to be going in and making sure you get the best deals. They're supposed to be making sure the publisher holds up their end of the deals that's being made because we see all those marketing plans and half that shit does not actually happen. Okay, so when are we going to get accountability for when none of the stuff in the marketing plan happens? I follow an agent, um, she's black, her name is um, Leonica, and she's talked about this before. Like, when are, when are these agencies going to start suing? When... For breach of contract when a lot of stuff isn't being fulfilled and it's putting the onus on the author and the book is flopping. Rose had to get out of her contract because for one they outed her in their marketing on Edelweiss and she wasn't out to her family and that's really rude and disrespectful. But also they weren't doing what they need to do. They sat on the arcs on Neck Alley for four months without releasing arcs to reviewers. She only noticed it because she's like, nobody is talking about my book whatsoever and arcs have been out. They weren't mailing the book out to. She had to push for them to mail it out to me. I don't know how many people they pushed it for. I think they did like a mini blog tour like closer to the date. But come on, we need to get these arcs out sooner as well. That's a big problem I've been noticing too. The publishers want to do the blog tours um, to come out the week of, but they don't actually give people enough time to read the book because they're sending the book out like a week before the release date, but the blog tour is set around the release date. So like fed up with the way they were constricting how she writes black UK characters. Um, they were being like 
kind of racist too with the way they were doing their selection for the audiobook like making sure somebody has a specific accent that they don't actually have in this book and just the frustratingness of them not actually pushing the story out here she had to get out of this contract with and this was page street by the way um this one was source books and this one is entangled so they're all independent publishers which normally we are told that independent publishers are better at catering to the authors versus the big four or five whatever big they are now we, we see how these publishers are combining and even so like the distribution for all of these books is still going through the bigger publishing machines but we're told that indie publishers are supposed to be better and more focused but then i'm i was noticing too especially on the YA end they were adding a lot more books to their roster every year while still under promoting these stories and only having like one person in the publicity department to handle everything so i did want to come on here and just talk about this to you guys to just give you some context as to what's going on Shakira wrote a whole post um, which I will link in the description box below just about his experience and he did put a lot of the blame on himself but I think the publisher deserves a lot of the blame as well Entangled does not do right by their black authors they don't promote their stories I've heard every single black author who's on there and there's not that many talk about how they were told they need to get their sales up well you have a big platform that you should be using to help promote them why are they having to take out targeted ads themselves to push their book on social media when you should be using your page that has more followers to take out targeted ads you should be reaching out to black reviewers you should be making sure the books get into the spaces that they need to be in so let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below again we need to make people aware of this so i would really 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 appreciate it if you would share this video with others if you like this video, make sure and hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.